Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Super pumped to have you here. Let's do a board review. All right, so today we're gonna be reviewing a 8.25 Kishaw Johnson Dark Star board. This is the same board that I set up uh, on a previous YouTube video. So you can go check that out. I'll link it down below in the description. So this is an 8.25 Dark Star board, steep kick. Uh, I believe this is a 32 length and a 14.25 wheelbase. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of cool things to say about this board, but first let me show you some clips that I got on this board. For those of you who don't know, Dark Star comes out of Thank You Supply, which is the same distribution as Blind Skateboards, Enjoy, and Almost. And this has been by far the best experience I've had with Thank You Supply. And I've ridden a lot of Thank You Supply boards, mainly blind boards, and I have ridden Enjoy. And Dark Star so far has been my favorite. And I believe it's because the concave and the steep kick, it worked a lot better for flip tricks. I was also using Am Grip, and that's the first time I've had Am Grip on a Thank You Supply board, and it worked really well, honestly, and it looks awesome too. You can see that orange coat underneath uh, for the top ply. And the graphic was honestly just amazing on this, and that's what uh, drew me to this. So let's take a look at the wear and tear first. So the tail stayed pretty much intact. Um, the not too much razor tail in here. I did end up cracking it. You can't really see it, but uh, there is a crack in it. And I don't think it went, no, the top ply is pretty good. Maybe a little pressure cracks down there. And uh, honestly, it held up really well. Um, the graphic is obviously smeared from some slides, but uh, there was no significant chipping in this, um, which is honestly awesome because I cannot say the same for some of the other brands that came out of Thank You Supply. But all around, this board held up extremely well, way, way better than I thought it would. The next thing I want to talk about is the trucks that I rode this on. So the first pair of trucks I had were these Grind King Disruptor trucks. And these are a bit lower than the Indies that I rode second um, on this board. So with the lower trucks, it made it a lot more snappy, made the flip trucks a lot better. And uh, all in all, the board flipped really well with these trucks. Um, and also, I think a lot of that has to do with this concave that's uh, a lot different from the other Thank You Supply boards. The other trucks I rode this with were, um, these are the Indy Stage 11 Hollow Lights. These are the Reynolds Pro Models. And I like these two on the Dark Star board. I think they're, they're more expensive trucks, so uh, they do skate a little bit better. But uh, they're not as low as the Grind King trucks, so there was a little bit more of a delay between popping tricks. But it's nothing you couldn't get used to. And switching out trucks, you can see that these bolts are sunken in a little bit, but uh, that didn't cause too much of, uh, too much of an issue. So all in all, this board held up great, but there is some cons that I wanna get into with this board. So the first and maybe even the only con I really had with this was um, the way that the board slid. And no matter how much wax I put on this, and uh, if you watch my skate footage, you know that I do a lot of uh, sliding tricks, board slides, and no slides, but um, no matter how much wax I put, the board still was, uh, it was getting really, it almost has like chunks taken out of it. It wasn't sliding quite quite right there was a uh i wouldn't say stickiness i'd just say the quality of the wood it could be the graphic but uh you can kind of see there's uh there's pieces just uh just indentations of where i was sliding and i really have not experienced that before and uh you know i do a lot of slide tricks and i know the graphic gets messed up that's just what's going to happen but uh you know normally it's not this rough and uh yeah that's that's not really cool. And I know, you know, the more you skate a board, uh, the, the more trash it's going to get. So, you know, the graphic isn't uh, my biggest concern uh, after skating it, but uh, I just don't know if that infected uh, the, the structural integrity of this board. But honestly, other than that, I can't really think about too many other things besides um, maybe the bolts sinking in a little bit and uh, these, these pressure cracks coming in. But the board, the board is still strong and I really just switched it out because I had another spare and um, this board was flexing a lot on me, but you know, that happens a lot. And I did skate a lot of street with this. This wasn't uh, as much a park board. This uh, this was skated a majority in the streets. So Dark Star, Kishaw Johnson, I mean, the graphic was absolutely awesome. I liked the shape significantly more than a lot of the other boards that come out of Thank You Supply. And the graphics in this series, I believe this was the Celtic series. It was, it was absolutely awesome. Uh, 32 length. This is a little bit longer than I normally skate, um, but 
I it, it felt just fine. This board this board was all around great, and I do like how it didn't chip. And there was a lot of instances where this could have chipped, but uh, maybe a little bit right there. But th this board held up great, and uh, the way I skate boards, they get destroyed pretty fast, especially in the street. So this board held up great, didn't crack really at all. At least the cracking came from slides, which I. I don't even, I don't, I've never seen that happen before, but um, all in all, I've landed on this board uh, pretty hard and it didn't, it didn't crack, but near the end, we are getting some flex in this. So I could definitely recommend this board and um, for new skaters, for advanced skaters. And I know Darkstar isn't, uh, you know, as uh, big of a board company as it was in the past. Um, I know they do have some Walmart board variants now floating around, uh, but maybe, maybe that's a good video in the future comparing uh, a pro Darkstar board to the Walmart one. But I could definitely recommend this board. And uh, I, I do enjoy making these board reviews. Um, there is something else interesting that I wanna note that they said on the website about um, about this seven ply maple. So on the website, it says to use this epoxy glue that makes the plies hold together better. And because of that, it's going to be the same shape every single time. Uh, I really have nothing to compare this to. If I got another dark star board, I'm sure that uh, the shape would be relatively similar, but I have had uh, blind boards that were way different from uh, product to product so um, I I could you know test that theory out if you guys want but um, from what I've seen on this board it, it it's gonna work just fine for you in parks in the streets and uh, I, I would prefer it with lower trucks but uh, you know that's just a preference and uh, the am grip held up worked well on it and uh, yeah solid board definitely can recommend it Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really like making these board reviews. And if you want to see any board reviews in the future, just leave that board brand down below in the descriptions. I can definitely get to it. I have uh, a lot of boards that I can make reviews on in the future. It all depends on what you guys want to see, though. Have an absolutely awesome day and stay safe. You know, you got the coronavirus out there. So wash your hands, guys. But anyways, have an awesome day, guys, and keep killing it. I'll see you in the next one.